Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. Okay, so uh, a while back I bought this uh, Proxmark and um, basically I ended up giving one to a guy who uh, was more familiar with this type of setup and more familiar with HID and access cards and things along those lines. So I gave it to him and um, asked him to see what he could do with it and that was the last time I saw it. So I was late night shopping the other night and I ended up buying one and um, I thought, well, I'm just gonna have to buy another one and then see what I can do with it. So when I bought that, um, you know, I was looking around at what else I could buy and I saw these little remotes. These little remotes seem to be pretty cool. These are um, universal um, copying remotes. So they're really cheap, couple of bucks, but you can, you know, copy a fair few remotes with them, uh, you know, standard non-rolling code. So they were only like two bucks. Anyway, back to the Proxmark. So the Proxmark um, is a device for using for sniffing RFID tags and simulating and emulating, reading, cracking, cloning. So it's a pretty cool little device. Comes in a little pack like this. I've got a bit of aerials, like a couple of sandwich um, circuit boards and all the rest. So that's complicated. Okay, sure. Then I thought, well, there's got to be something else a little bit better. And then I came across this um, Camellia tiny now this little thing and i've just got it charging in here and i'll just take it out off the charge it takes a c type charger here and it's got two little buttons on the back of it and it is tiny it's a it's, you know probably about 40 mil by 20 mil and it's got an a and a b button and you just push the button or is it this button there we go eight seven six five four three two one so basically this is more convenient than this because of the size. This can also do a lot of functions such as sniffing, uh, sniffing some of the keys out as well. And you can actually use an app on your phone to do quite a lot of functions. So basically, if you had, uh, well, you can store up to eight different cards on this, but what's most important is you can sniff out a couple of the keys and it's kind of a lighter version of the Proxmark and it's not a bad little thing. And I thought, well, that's something cool actually just to play around with. So I bought it because for me, um, we go to multiple sites and having multiple tags kind of ends up looking like that. Okay, and that's a, that's a little bit annoying. Also, this one here too, with that sniffing capability and being able to emulate a lot more, that gives me a little bit more power than compared with one of these uh, one of these machines. These machines, although it can read it, it can't always write it all the time, and that's where it lets itself down. So when I do get to a job site and it's a building I manage, I'd like to be able to pretty much do a quick copy of the master tag which I get given, so that when I do need to go back in an emergency situation or go repairing or replacing locks, I've got access to some description. Well, it would be easier for the building managers to give us an access tag it doesn't always happen so with this little device here that's what the intention is for that now I'm gonna take you up on the app the app um, was two seconds to download you can find it um, on the App Store under chameleon and I'll just bring it up here this is a chameleon mini for obvious reasons okay where is the chameleon there it is there okay so you see that uh, chameleon symbol right there let's do that uh, so they have the mini so this is tiny. They have the Chameleon Mini, which is the other one. So it's actually just found it there, and that's that. Okay, bonding, push button A. Okay, it's, the app has crashed. Let's do that again. Push button A. Up, it's found it there. It's saying connecting. Up, it's found it. Okay, now I've got all these slots. So it's got eight different slots here that it actually can be programmed up. And this is where this little tool comes in, you know, quite handy is because the amount of cards it can emulate is quite powerful. It's more powerful than this little thing here. It's not as powerful as the Proxmark, I get it, but considering this is all you need to carry, that's really cool. It also comes with a little bag like this, a little pouch, so you know you can put it on your hip or wherever you want to put it. Comes with a couple of little RFID, um, one little tag there as well. One other little thing comes with is this hexagon little tiny um, miniature screwdriver don't know what that's for to be honest with you okay so we can go into slot one now okay so just I'll stop the camera from vibrating and I'll zoom in on the app so you can kind of see it all right so this is what the app looks like so this is slot one and then we go to type where's one of the stars pen so my big fingers don't get in the way sure enough when I need one I can't find one okay so I go to MF um, MF class MF, uh, which is my fair, classic 1K, 
and then I can go all the way down 1k minus 7b classic 4k uh, classic mini ultralight all these other ones none these are all the different types of uh, formats they have on, on smart cards so there's quite a few there so that you know they're the powerful ones so that's why I bought this tool is just so I could be able to um, go through and do that now there is another button here that says crack where you could put this up against you put this bit up against an RFID reader and you can actually get that first key all of that yet I'm still yet to play with but for the device and all the rest it looks pretty good you can download a dump and upload a dump UID clone let's try that please put the card on the camel okay so oh, didn't do it let's just try this card I've got a card right here okay let's put that there UID clone successful okay was it that easy to uh, to clone and that's in position one all right so let's test this now because you probably that's a pretty simple test but let's just test it all right so what I'll do is um, I will push the B button and that will cycle it through I'm not sure how to turn this off actually we're back to slot one here is a Samsung digital door lock let's see if we get any luck no nope. okay so we, it wasn't that simple. Okay, so we have cloned it, uh, uniquely cloned it, and you know what? We don't even know what format this is. So it's going through Lead everything. Failure. Okay. So I don't even know how to turn off. There was no instructions with this uh, little tool. Push both buttons. Go up to eight. It's a nice little circuit board with a bit of... Um, uh, what are they, epoxy on the on the front okay it looks like that just goes through and takes you to the next location all right so we don't still know what um, format this is talking in and I can't um, I can't find out because they're talking two different languages which is a little bit annoying I'll probably have to go through and um, keep going through until until I can work it out at the moment it's got the little thing on there failed okay so I'll have to keep going uh, one by one by one until I find it which isn't undesirable but maybe we might get lucky